My name is Dylan Robinson and I am in sixth grade. First, I would like to thank Mr. David for letting me speak to you today. I am reading from Matthew 5, 13 through 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it on a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. If you notice the first word in verse 13 and 14, it says, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. He didn't just say your pastor. He didn't say just Mr. David. He didn't just say adults. The Bible says you are the salt and light of the world. Let me tell you the differences of salt and light. Salt is our character. It's who we are and what we choose to be. Light is our conduct. It's our actions, what we do, and what we say. Salt is our inward influence, and light is our outward influence. Sorry. Salt is used for a lot of purposes. Salt flavors food. We should bring flavor to the world around us. As Christians, we should influence this world for good. Like salt has a positive, positive influence on the flavor of food, we should be a positive influence to the people around us. Salt makes you thirsty. The way we live our lives does make other people hungry and thirsty for God. If we are mean and always causing drama, then I doubt they want what we have. Salt is used for medical purposes. Are we helping or hurting others? We can help by helping the homeless. That's a great way to be salt. But what about that unpopular kid that sits by himself? They need us to be salt just as much. Salt is a preservative. Don't blend in the crowd. Stand for what is right. Preserve the word of God. Keep God in your world. Just, just like salt, light has a number of purposes. Like headlights on a car, light points the way. We need to help others and lead them to Jesus. Like a flashlight, Light exposes what's in the darkness. The world can be a dark place, so we need to show light to others so they see the love of Jesus. Like a lighthouse, light gives direction. There are so many people out there that are lost and need help from us. We need to lead them in the right direction. Our walk and talk, what we do and what we say is our light to those around us. God shows us to be a light in this dark world. He says in 1 Peter 2 and 9, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. He chose us, our generation, to help people and reach the lost. But if we don't work together and work as a group, he can reach as many people. We can't reach as many people. Let me show you an example. My friend, Brother DJ Hill, from my church, he's going to help me today. Brother DJ, stand and say, Jesus loves you as loud as you can. Jesus loves you! Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Mr. David, you're already standing, so. Um, <laughs> please say, Jesus loves you as loud as you can. Jesus loves you! Now, one of my friends, Brayden, where are you? Where's Brayden? Oh, stand up and say, Jesus loves you as loud as you can. Jesus loves you. Now, all three of you stand up. Well, you don't have to stand up. <laughs> and say, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. But still, that isn't very loud and can't reach everyone. 
Now everyone stands. <laughs> Say, Jesus loves you! One more thing, Mr. Davy, can you help me with this? Sure. Um, if everyone could come down and make a huge circle in the middle of the gym. Okay, everybody stop talking. Listen real quick. Everybody jump in there, grab a hand. Okay. So, so when we are united, we work as a group, we can spread. Hey, someone's 